Who says fox hunting isn't competitive? Here at Stradbally Hall in Ireland, packs from the north of the north to the south of the south have come to show off their best hounds. It's the IMFHA Foxhound Show 2023. Declan Feeney, Huntsman of the East Down, is in for the unentered dog foxhound class. These are the teenagers of the foxhound game. Well, they're supposed to show themselves and stand up and chase a biscuit and be more mature than mine were. <laughs> but unentered hounds can be like that sometimes. They can do great things for you at home. And then when you go out and they like a hair, they just lie down. <laughs> Mine come running across to the puppy walker, the girl that walked them when they were puppies. <laughs> That's as far as I got. <laughs> He's not having as much of a hard time of it as some. We don't have as many sh- hound shows in the Republic of Ireland as they do in the UK. So this is a very important day for us because it gives our hunts, and particularly our hunt staff, the opportunity to display the quality of their hounds. I think it brings everybody together um, before the next season and it lets everybody look at each other's hounds and um, we've seen some fantastic hounds today. All the hunt, hunt staff, you know, they take great pride in doing their work and they, they produce the hounds fantastically. The, the test of any hound is in the hunting field. That's the ultimate test. What happens here today, okay, you'll see good hounds, good confirmation, but the talking is done in the hunting field. They're looking for a happy, healthy, bit of drive up and down the ring and and very energetic. The standard has improved in the last 10 years in Ireland. It's really, really upped its game. The show committee have upped their game. The ring, as you see, and the crowd around the place, it's brilliant, great atmosphere. and We just need a party on the Saturday night before and we're grand then. In the end, the cup for unentered dog hound goes to the Louth. So, who's in with a chance for the big prize? The Open Dog Hound Championship, the Mrs Hall Perpetual Challenge Cup for the best dog hound exhibited in any class. My tip would be for the uh, South Tyrone, the Meath or the Kilkenny. And really I listen to the Huntsmen because the Huntsmen are the professionals and they are living this and breathing this day in, day out, and they're on the grapevine. So that's where I take my cues from, as well as what I see on the day. The honour of the class has just been and done. The Lowe's done fiercely well. They had a fantastic couple, and within that couple there was an outstanding unentered dog who showed and galloped. Sadly, unentered is very difficult. Sometimes when there's a lot of congestion in the ring, they, don't, they, they feel a bit threatened and shy and then feel a bit timid and they don't gallop or express themselves and then they come back and stand them in the lead and it's, they sort of just cave in. But in fairness, the judges got it 100% right. Dog championship, please God ourselves. This could be very difficult. It, the, the judges have now identified what type of hound they're going for and they're going for a sporty looking old English hound which they've firmly identified with the judging so far. So now they're looking like probably hot favourites but you just don't know. You just don't know. Okay. I've won the unentered dog, old English, and I've won the unentered two couple, or couple, sorry. It's your day? Well, so far. I'm old English and then we're going in against the modern which is a harder class to try and win because they're a bigger hound compared to the old English so it's hard, just hard to know what way the judge is going to sway so if you had 20 pounds in your pocket to put on it who would it go on probably the South Tyrone the two main kinds of foxhound here are the modern and the old English well the modern English foxhound tend to be narrower you're having the same spring of rib such in England you see you're going to maybe have more open fields bigger fields you've got the speedier hound and you're maybe a hundred horses riding after you so you need a hound that can gallop and go the heavier hound tend to be just that bit slower possibly but at the end of the day they're only as fast as their nose yeah, because I hunt old English you they're hunt modern, modern so we can fight amongst each other <laughs> These two judges are in the Harrier's ring. There's a ring for beagles too, and the crowd has brought its own mixed bag of puppies and cur dogs, including these remarkable looking animals. So these are not obviously foxhounds? No, these are African hunting hounds, otherwise known as Azawaks. Probably 15 or so of them in Ireland, and similar to maybe up in 30 in the UK possibly. 
they would have been originally bred to hunt gazelle and like whatever is in in the desert that wouldn't have too much but these particular ones were then used as a guardian breed for the Tuareg tribe so they've got very high guard instinct and are very wary of strangers and I'd say Ireland does lack desert yeah, yeah, it does, it does. A lot of people in Europe would, would course them now and there's, you know, coursing competitions for them, which, you know, we don't have the opportunity to do over here. But the hope is to bring them to Europe at some stage and do that. Back to the business in hand and we are reaching the dog hound final. The foxhound judges, who are all from England, are so far favouring the Old English, which is good news for the Louth, bad news for the Meath and the South Tyrone. How will the championship go? The dog of the dog hound championship... South Tyrone, Harold. Out of more than a hundred hounds judged, it is Harold from South Tyrone that is Ireland's top dog hound for 2023. Ryan is ecstatic. I did predict the lows, but I always did have an inkling. But we did it, and thank God. You did it. Difficult morning, but fantastic Tell morning the for the lows hounds. <laughs> we didn't rob the meat. Get on. <laughs> Uh, we didn't rob the meat. The lows were had an outstanding morning and, and rightfully deserved because the huntsman Lloyd has a tremendous amount of work done, as do all the other huntsmen, to bring hounds here, to get them into that ring, to show the way they did and the condition they look. It's credit to the kennels, our country and the hunt staff and our masters and members and we just it's just great to have a win. What is it about confirmation of yours that particularly one I, I that dog beautifully balanced. He's a beautifully balanced dog. He's not that happy about showing. I had him showing last year as an on underdog and he didn't like it too much, but it didn't sicken him. So I teased him back in this year with his brother Harper. His brother Harper was on into champion last year, but now he's champion. And right, he's a great balance. He's a great front, lovely shoulder, and a sweep and top line. I told you the South Throne would win. <laughs> the IMFHA holds this show every year. Click the website link below to find out more.